Imagine a guy whose name you don't know, who you've never met, who silently follows you around, listening to your conversations. He was there yesterday, he was there all day today, he'll be there all day again tomorrow. He makes note of everyone that you meet, every conversation you have, anything you exchange, no matter how intimate the contact. You wouldn't stand being followed around by a creeper like that in real life. So why does Senator Brandis think it's okay to force the telecommunications industry to do that to us online? Legislation requiring telecommunications providers to keep the metadata and to continue to make it available to police and security agencies Australians are going to be quite upset when they realise that in the name of national security we're being put under the surveillance microscope. You can find out much more information about a person from metadata than listening to one or two of their phone calls. But uh, Senator Brandis uh, is one of the best Attorney Generals certainly that uh, I've seen. Is the, um, is, is the, uh, is the, um... We have a, a lawyer, a deep thinker. Take, a, a, imagine a letter, right? The metadata is the name and address on the envelope, not the content of the letter. Anyone who tells you that it's like an envelope either doesn't understand what they're talking about or they're trying to deliberately impede your understanding. It is your precise location everywhere you take your mobile phone. It's your entire social network. It's everyone you know and everyone they know. It's whether you're partial to BitTorrent or not. It's your whole digital life. Everything that they do online, if you think about how much material you uh, do on the internet, on your phones, um, even in your phone calls and so forth, you can map out a person's entire life. But such a scheme subverts the principle of the presumption of innocence by collecting information about every single Australian's online and telephonic communications, regardless of whether they are a suspect in any criminal activity or not. Is the finding in April by the European Court of Justice that mandatory data retention violated fundamental rights and was illegal? as has been discovered at great cost in the United States with the Snowden revelations, if you collect the material, it'll be abused. In praise of the American traitor Edward Snowden. As a traitor. 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 So what laws are you alleging Mr Snowden has breached and effect effectively prejudging his guilt? Um, Isn't it a bit of an amateurish mistake for an Attorney General to make? Uh, the legislation will also create the potential for serious harm to Australians should the enormous databases of personal information that will be created be misused or compromised. By far the largest users of warrantless metadata accesses are uh, agencies like Centrelink, the police, anti-corruption agencies, but also the Victorian Taxi Directorate, um, the RSPCA. Every local government in the country has the ability to get a hold of this material. The government's now proposing to add whole new warehouses full of material and force tech companies to store that stuff. Our estimate is we're talking several petabytes of data. Proponents of such a scheme grossly underestimated the volume of data to be collected and the consequential costs flowing to those companies forced to undertake the proposed surveillance. We will either pay through higher phone and internet charges or through our taxes. I suspect it'll be a combination of both. It's a surveillance tax. Of course they want more power. It's your job and ours to balance that power against proportionality and whether it's useful or not. I'm just asking for evidence as to whether it's useful. All right, we'll move on. Whether that is brought in or not, I think very much depends on, the, on whether the Labor Party is prepared to actually stand up and fight it, along with the Greens and the rest of the crossbench. The, uh, the Australian people are really feeling betrayed and let down. Tonight I have a message for the Australian Labor Party. We are not going to let you sit this one out. Are you going to stand with Senator George Brandis when this comes to a vote? Or will you be standing with everyone else?